What's up guys? What's going on? This here is Wyckoff Sun Score America. Just wanted to do a touch up video for tonight. I know we ended it live um, a little bit ago. Um, just really needed to get on this phone because the other two phones don't work. Um, but we made some phone calls. We actually found a 7-Eleven uh, that was open. It was about about 15 to 20 miles I would say um, they were they had a line all the way down the road so we got gas and they had one bag of ice left got that bag of ice um, sodas I got my last eight sodas so we are set as in me and Nick um, she's most probably gonna want coffee in the morning, but we'll see about that. You know, praying that. So we're gonna basically stay in a lighted area um, in the truck. There's a McDonald's right there, but I mean, it's lighted up in this area. So I don't know. I mean, we like to sleep in the dark, you know, and we only got two blankets, but. We have to do what we got to do. Bright bushy tail in the morning. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up to let you guys know we have made it down here. We conquered what we had to do to get to where to where we got to go. So we're here, guys. We're here. We have the truck loaded down to pass out tomorrow down here in Fort, Fort Myers. Um, and then on the other, you know, they don't want to get it wet. Hopefully, I'm going to go and try to cover these waters up so nobody can see the waters. But what I've noticed is they have power here. And they have the stores open. But everything on their shelves are wiped out, wiped away. And I asked them, I said, when's your truck coming in? Oh, we don't even know. So I think it's when they shut it down for the hurricane, they allowed people, because they got their power on, to come out here and hit so they can get everybody taken care of. But people, you know, just came in, took as much as they possibly can. Luckily, we got, you know, simple stuff that we needed. We got the ice to cool down our drinks. Um, we topped off the gas, so we have a full tank now. Thanks, thanks, thanks. But hey, we had to drive for it, but we found it. He answered, you know what I mean? Also, we need to pray for Joe's Joe, for Joe and his wife. Man, that is such devastation, and me and Nick were sitting and talking. And, and I'm so glad to have Nick, you know, next to me to be able to read the comments while I'm driving. Because I'll tell you, if I start reading the comments, it, like, you just don't pay attention. So, that being said, we have to, we have to sit down, do a prayer for Joe and his family, and to the Black Bean. That sucker been through hell and back. But now let's lay that black bean to rest. But Joe and his wife, much pray to you. Get better real soon, man. Be safe. But I'm telling you, don't read your chat when you're driving. That's why I got my ride or die with me. You had your ride or die with you. So let her read your comments. Uh, but anyhow, we're safe and sound. We got a load here. Like I said, we're this is day three. That in the back of the truck is day two. If you guys want us to continue, it is on you guys. I'm going to put as much work. Me and Nick are going to put as much work as we can. Um... It stinks that we came out here late today, 
but it took freaking three hours to pack all these bags and individually pack these care bags so that took time but you know what all this takes time and that's what counts because we're giving back and being able to say you know what I did that I did that for someone you know pat your shoulder you know you'll live a better day I'm telling you when you do something good for someone I'm telling you it makes you feel good and that's why I'm here and that is why I'm taking the time because you can only take the time I mean you got to use your time wisely and right now these people down here have lost most of everything they own so I'm gonna try to do my best to hit Fort Myers and you know all the other cities you know going down um, we did hit the 55 and older uh, places up here we're gonna try to hit those you know with some of these care packages some more water and then also go into neighborhoods pass them out directly to the families I see a lot of comments talking about oh you should go to a, uh, a, a big organization or a donation place or this and that yeah you can send all that to them but they're gonna be taking half of that and doing whatever they want to do with it these people need it they're needing help I'm looking around this parking lot and you see nothing but mobile homes, cars, cars. Like they're sleeping in their cars because their homes are gone. Luckily they got out with their mobile homes. You know, everything, I mean, at least they're, they're alive. And that's all it really matters. But we're down here. I have the time. I have the ability to use my truck, to use my platform, to bring everyone together, to be able to show everyone that America can stand up and give when it's due when people are down and out because that is what Americans do we look out for one another no matter what God bless you guys we will see you in the morning I'm gonna show you something she's already out Nick's already out, he's done, put a fork in her. I gotta edit this video, get this video out, and I'm gonna hit the hay as well. Much love to all you guys. See you on the live in the morning. Y'all take care, God bless.